Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. We're still here in Figaro. Something's going on. Let's figure out what it is. Uh, this is mostly automated, so if it goes a little fast, that's why. Oh shit! Everything's on fire! That guy's freaking out! Kafka. Uh, get her ready. Get her ready to do what? <laughs> I have no choice but to escape! I like the chocobo designs in this too. I just love this game. Okay, just, I love this game. Just get used to me saying, I like this and I like that. I, I don't know if I'd say that. Hooray! Wrong chugaboos. Sink her into the sand. Sink what into the sand? Oh, what? What's going on? Kefka's freaking out. Whoa! <laughs> Dive mode? Who guessed the castle could do this? If you play Final Fantasy VI at all, you know. But... <laughs> Witness the glory of Figaro as we burrow into the sand and disappear. Like an ostrich with its head. No, I know ostriches don't do that for real, but it's still funny. And Figaro disappears off the map. Don't worry, that's not the end of Figaro, although it is funny to see Kefka upside down. Kill them. Oh, now things are getting serious. Well, I mean, setting building on fire was serious. Uh-oh. An unavoidable battle. These are Magitek armor. I don't remember how much HP they've got, but... Uh, they're pretty wimpy, actually. We are gonna try and steal from them. Okay. Whoop, nope. We're gonna use fire. Something interesting things happen. An interesting thing happens when you use fire. Whoa! This is completely out of my hands, guys. Everybody's freaking out. Terra's not even paying attention anymore. Edgar doesn't know how to talk. Do those kids really so Locke, you're like three? No. Locke is supposed to be 25, canonically. Terra is 18, I wanna say. You're not that much older. You got seven years on her, not that big a deal. <laughs> Locke, you were... Locke's a little oblivious. I love Locke, don't get me wrong. It was cash. Yeah, what the fuck else do you think I just did, Locke? I've only used it like five or six times in front of you now. I love how everybody stops in the middle of the battle for this to happen. I love when the sprites just freak out and do weird shit, like fall over and get back up. And... It's such a big deal out of being the only one of few magic users in the entire world. It just surprised me a lot. I only heard about it in stories and songs. Got it. Yeah, that's why I used it. Little wink. Uh, 
and the boy swoon. And we're back to the battle. I don't know. That's the auto crossbow ability. It's pretty handy. Uh, you'll probably end up using auto crossbow a lot. We're gonna heal everybody. I don't know if Bio Blaster is effective against these guys, but you know, we're gonna even try. Puts on a little helmet. You will get more tools for Edgar later on. That's Edgar's main ability is tools. Because he's mechanic-y king type. Um, you get Bio Blaster, Noise Blaster, and Auto Crossbow now. I believe there are five others you can get later uh, throughout various points in the game. They're not going to be available for a, lot, a little while yet, though. And we're circling around for some reason. Dash past Kafka and keep going. In the original American version, it wasn't Son of a Sandworm, it was Son of a Submarine. I do remember that. Neither of which particularly fit the given situation. Just dashing along. Yes, those were bad people. They set fire to a castle and tried to kill you. And we're talking about the political situation of what's going on. I'm talking about espers again. Come to you naturally. Uh-oh. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. I was thoughtless, and sometimes a jerk. So you can even give your powers to one person or the other person. This is actually one of the few games where you start out on the bad guy's side. Which is interesting in the way Final Fantasies go, because usually you're a good guy through and through. Although, this could be because of the Slave Crown and all that. You'll get more info on that later. Bannon, who's that? Is he from Johnny Quest? Oh, dating myself again. Cave to the south. Okay, that will lead us south. Let's go. I'll have some time to think things through on the way. So this is your Chocobo, ch Chocobo, Chocobo view. It's a little disorienting. Um, cave's not that way. Cave is this way. He said it was south, but Edgar is not the best with directions. No, that is definitely not the way I want to go. Maybe I'm the one who's not good with directions. I thought the cave was in here. Oh, it is. I just can't see. Uh, it is hard to see with a little background and everything, but it is this thing here. You can't go into it on the Chocobo, so you're going to have to dismount. And there's a guy here to meet us. Castle. Castle's under the sand. And he's going to go off and leave us with this creepy cave. Uh, we're going to put Terra back in front. Because that's just how I roll. Whoop. Uh, in here you've got Hornets, Foppers, 
with one other enemy that I don't remember. We'll see them now. Um, they, they, they'll, they'll show up. Ooh, Poisana. Poisana is antidote, basically. There's a turtle, which has nothing to do with anything going on right now. But, you can use the recovery spring, and move on. The cave is not difficult to get through. There's a couple of little blip- oh, the Oryx. Ugh. Um. Probably not gonna bother trying to steal from any of these guys. And if fire doesn't kill him, auto crossbow will. I am not planning on cutting out battles at this time. You guys decide you don't want to see a ton of battles, I understand. Let me know in the comments, uh, and I'll try and cut some out. I usually end up talking over them like I am this moment. That I'm still trying to get used to using the editing software, so uh, cut, battle cuts might be a little uh, iffy for a bit. But if you like seeing the battle, if you like seeing the process, I pretty much just use attack a lot until you get some other characters where magic is incredibly effective. Um, right now, though, Terra is going to pretty much act as your white mage. Go up that way. Can't go down there. It's a little deceptive. It looks like I can, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's good to come in here and gain some levels. Um, there is a spot here in a little bit. I'll show you where I generally tend to do my leveling up. And it'll just make the, the whole game a little broken, actually. I don't, I don't mind being a little OP. Makes the fights go by faster. Because I'm more here for the gameplay than the for the, the story than the fight, with the exception of a couple of fights. But we're not gonna go out of our way to be super leveled or anything until maybe endgame when it's useful to be super leveled. I think we need to come down here first. I was wrong. You can't come down here. We're going to encounter an enemy every five steps. That's the way this goes. Let me press the right button. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Those are my knuckles. I had to pop them. Okay. Getting some pretty good experience in here. Go up this way, around, down, and get into... A butt ton more fights. I'll take them. The experience is good for us. And that might have been thunder. Uh, if there is thunder coming through on the capture, I'm sorry. It's about time for it to rain, man. And when it rains here, it rains loud. Okay, so I think there's a yep, just down here. So many fights. You can go back and use the recovery spring anytime you want. It's sort of pointless right now. Since after the cave we're gonna have a place where we can rest. Uh, and we need the gold, too. Well, the gill. Got an ether. That's good. We need those. There is a chest up over here. Because we're going to have to upgrade weapons soon. Uh, if you guys are curious about how any of the abilities work, if you want to see them in action, let me know. I'm not going to use Bioblaster on these guys. I don't think Poison's effective. 
auto crossbow is really going to be one of your most useful tools uh, until you get some new ones. Phoenix down. We can always use some of those. Yeah, it, it seems like every five steps. At least the... Ooh, and watch out. When you get a back attack, Terra is actually in the front row and the other two are in the back. Which sucks. Um, at least the encounter rate is not as bad as, like, Xenogears. If you guys have never played Xenogears, I may play it on the channel one day. It is... It's a game. It's interesting. It's one of those PS1 era weird things. Don't get me wrong, I love PS1 era games. But it's particularly bizarre. Attack. We're actually gonna go ahead and heal everybody. Crossbow. Um, some of my favorite tools for Edgar you don't get until way, way later in the game, which is so unfortunate because they're so much fun. Get down. And out. Like I said, the, the cave's not difficult to get through. We're going to go ahead and walk to our next destination before we call it quits for the day, though. Looks like it's downtown here. Whoops. And a random encounter with a Belmodar. Belmodar. Oh, I should have used Noise Blaster. These guys are a little tough, so uh, let's go ahead and use Noise Blaster so you guys can see what that thing does. Pretty sure it confuses enemies. Yeah. Steal. Because I can. Got a potion. And he used Mega Vault on himself, which healed himself. Great. These guys are, um... Strong against Lightning. Resistant against Lightning. So don't... don't use Lightning on them. Not that you can right now, because you don't have any Lightning spells. Just saying. I will go ahead and let you know, before we go in town, this forest right here. I like to level up here 5 or 10 levels. Uh... After I've entered South Lake Road, before I move on to the rest of the game. So, I might do that off-screen. I am not gonna grind for an hour and a half on-screen. That's... no. That's no fun at all. But, that's one of the areas I'll level up really early in the game. Just get to a, a good level. And keep going. Because that'll make the rest of the battles in the game pretty easy. But, here's South Figaro, so we're gonna go ahead and stop for now. Uh, <laughs> this mysterious cat Allen plays Final Fantasy VI Advance. Thanks for joining me, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye!